Hello, my name is Wan Thao and today I'm going to show you how to assemble the belt buckle which I've uploaded to Thingiverse, link in the description below. Okay, so we're going to start with this printed out STL file. So we've got all parts required for assembly in one STL package. First, I'm going to separate the parts from the build plate. So everything has been printed in PET G with 50% infill and four perimeters. So by bending this sheet metal, it's more or less possible to remove these parts quite easily. So, well, here we are. Okay, so we've got all parts. We've got the actual buckle. We've got the cross latch, which is going to fasten the strap in place and which can be opened and closed. We've got the two pegs attaching the latch to the buckle. And we've got this crossbar, which will fasten the fabric strap to the buckle. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to mount the latch to the buckle. We've got two vertical supports in the holes. These we've got to remove first. So I'm taking a pair of needle nose pliers and just with a twist, we can easily remove this. Also cleaning out any excess material, a pair of tweezers. So, okay. Now, next thing we've got to do, I'm going to take each peg and push it into the hole halfway, just a bit, just a bit in to keep it in place like this. Okay, now we've still got this vertical support here, which I'm just going to remove. Now we've got this latch, fits like so, and I'm going to push down the buckle onto the table to drive the peg through the latch. So now I've pushed it completely all the way through the buckle into the latch. And I repeat the same process on the other side. I carefully press this down onto the table and you see we've got a nice snug fit. The pegs are in the buckle and I can freely, freely open and close the latch. Now to close the latch completely, I press it down until it snaps into place. I can open it again, press it down, open and so on. Okay, now for the strap itself, I've already prepared some strap. I've provided a link in the description below. This is two millimeter thick fabric and 30 millimeters wide. You can see it's quite stiff and has some heft to it. So the way this all fits together, is like this. I've already bent the end around a bit here and the latch will go through like this. So the strap will be held in place by this crossbar and I can insert everything like this. Okay, so to make this permanent, I have to take some super glue here and put just tiny drip. Now that was already tiny drip on this side and see this. Okay, and now I can press this crossbar into place. Okay, just keep it there for a short instance until the glue works its magic. Okay, keep it pressed. Okay, so now the, the glue has cured and we can proceed to the next step. And this is to glue this end of the strap together. For this purpose, I use some standard modeling glue, which is alcohol based and takes a bit longer to cure. So what I do, I simply put some glue here, apply it like this. Then also apply some on the other side like so. Press everything together. Take one of these clamps, which you can find in home improvement stores. Make sure everything is straight before clamping it down. Okay, and this we can now leave to dry. Take a couple of hours, just leave it there like this. And now final word while this is curing how this strap works. So you simply insert the strap like this, close the buckle, and you've got a very tight fit here. Open it again, close. Okay, so that's it. I hope you found this video helpful and see you next time. Thanks for watching.